Hi guys, uh, back again with a new video, uh, and this one is to look at uh, the Etna mines, so I'm carrying on with the Kimbolton thing. Um, I've got, got them in this box down here, I'll be bringing them out shortly. Uh, but just before I begin that, I was going to show you a few other mines in my collection, all by Kimbolton. Um, I do have some others, like uh, the mini mines, uh, there were like a pack of five mines that you could get old British standards. Um, I have them in a in a, another pack, it's called a Celebrity Pack. So there was these big massive packs that they used to sell on online, on the Combolton website. Um, you had like a Celebrity, uh, Superstar Pack, you had the Megastar Pack, each one with different items, some bigger than others. Um, so I've got mines in that, and when I open up the Celebrity Pack for you, uh, you'll be able to see those mines. And obviously, in, in some of the uh, selection boxes, you've got different other mines. We might go through those later when I do the selection boxes. Um, yeah, so I'll start with these ones. Because um, there's no information on the internet that I can see. Um, this one is Jack in the Box. So these are all 25 meter display mines. Uh, they all start with a silver fountain. Um, this one is followed by loud whistles. Then we have this other one. This is the Emerald Cascade. It's a bit beaten up this one. I'm gonna have to try and flatten that. Maybe like super glue it down so it looks a bit nicer. Um, or I could fire it. Uh, let me know if you want to see it fired. I'm, I'm easy with these ones. Uh, giant Silver Fountain followed by a cloud of coloured stars. And last of all, out of these uh, this series, there's the Devil's Punch Bowl. So this is a giant silver fountain again, followed by a loud explosion ejecting a cloud of crackled stars. So each one like slightly different. And uh, the strange thing is that the packaging is slightly different on these as well. So if you can see, this is all in a in a bold font. Same same with this other one, this Emerald Cascade. But this one here, this one. Some of it's in bold, some of it isn't. Then this barcode is actually part of the wrapper. Whereas on these other two, and they've got different sides, these are just stuck on, they're little stickers. Um, and also, it'll be hard to see because there's not really a lot of, whole lot of light in here. Uh, this top in here is a, more of a blue. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Whereas here it's more purpley. Yeah, just like slight variations, but these are all from the same batch, same year. So there's these. Um, tried looking at info online. Uh, there's none at all on these that I could find. Um, might have to try and get uh, a Kim Bolton brochure from back in the day. Um, I know somebody who's got one, but they wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> I'll ask again, or when I go see them, I'll see if I can just flip through it for you. And then we can see like what these were going for. Uh, Kim Bolton could be quite pricey, um, although you could get it uh, at decent prices in a lot of garden centres. But um, yeah, their the better pieces were, were mainly just online from the Kim Bolton website. So anyway, we've got these. Then moving on, we've had quite a, quite a fair few of these. So this is the, the latest... Uh, Kim Bolton mines that you can get, this 75mm Krakatoa, out of all of them, there's like a few few different types, different effects, this is my favourite, so this is the purple and twilight glitter, uh, it's just erupts, similar to like an angel dust mine, but in silver, with uh, little purple tips, it's absolutely beautiful this one, um, yeah these go for quite a bit of money, uh, see that you've got the visco here, it's a quick match, that goes into the, into the mine. Uh, 145 grams of NEC, so very respectable. Um, yeah, these go for about 15 quid, which is quite pricey for a, for an effect that lasts between, say, about three to five seconds, depending on which one you get. Um, but you, you can find them for 10. That's really what you want to be paying for these. <clears throat> Good way to start a show. Uh, to a show. A show. It gives you like a bit of drama, a bit of theatre, especially if. If you've got, say, a fountain going on first, 
and then you hit, hit your audience with one of these unexpectedly. Yeah, it always goes down well. <clears throat> so that's the Krakatoa mine. Um, before these, you used to be able to get the Stromboli mines. They were the um, Kimbolt mines that you used to be able to buy. Um, pretty similar to the uh, renowned Sovereign mines. Um, everyone raves about the Sovereign mines as being the best. And uh, they are. They, they give like a much better thud than these. And they also, the effects go up uh, considerable, considerably higher. Even though these are still decent, they've got a thud on them. And they do go up pretty high, but just uh, those sovereign mines are just that bit better. Well, I was saying that, we did um, the a big man Dave, now called Salt Petra, on, uh, on uh, the UK forum. We went round his house and he fired a, lo a load of all his gear that had been storing up over the years. And there was a bright star mine. Um, need to find out uh, which one that was. And that outperformed the Sovereign by far. It had such a deep thud. Uh, it's brilliant. And also, my other favourite mine is the old Magnum Mega Mines. With the one, there was like two versions. One had salutes in it. One with the reports in it. The salutes. That, that was just amazing. It was like one of the loudest fireworks I've ever heard. So anyway, getting into the Etna Mines. Got them down here in this box. This is a complete pack. Uh, again, there's no info online. Although I remember these um, when they were selling them on the website. Uh, very, very expensive, these mines. Um, lucky to have this in my collection. <coughs> I'll open them up. There's, a, I think, a pack of 12. So you get the 65 mil, 75 mil, and 85 mil mines. I'll take them out one by one. Here's just a little instruction. Uh, so we can read the instructions first, actually. So it says about them being in accordance with British standards. Uh, should only be 20, used at 25 minutes away from people or property. Mines are supplied complete and with a raw mortar. Bury the mine to two thirds of its depth in the ground in a drum of sand. Ensure that the firework cannot fall over. The mine should be angled slightly away from spectators. Remove the orange fuse cover to expose the delay fuse, straighten the fuse and light the free end of the fuse at arm's length of a port fire and retire immediately. So I will send advice there. These are powerful little pieces. So set that aside and I'll start with the mines. So this is the first one in the pack. Again, sorry for the light. I thought it'd be yeah, well this this side's better. So ejects stars. Detail effects, glitter stars, and red scatters. So that would be a really nice, nice uh, twinkly white mine with uh, red in it. And this is one of the 65mm ones, <laughs> display fireworks. So that's the comparison against the Krakatoa. This one's a 75mm. Within this pack, I also have 85mm mines. <laughs> So we'll go through quickly, bring them all out so you can just see the effects. Might be easier just to do it down here. Yep, detail effects, whistles. Again, 65mm mine. And that flat keeps opening up. There you go. Red stars and silver scatters. So the good thing about this pack, they're all different. You've got different sizes and all different effects. But shall I go for orange? Yeah, again with the 65 mils. Gold crackle. They're like really well made these are. So I don't know if I can see the inside. It's gonna be a difficult one. There you can see. You've got the, see those two little staples hanging out? That prevents, if I pick it up, I can lift lift the effect just up to the staple, which would be there. You can see where it is on the mine. So that will prevent it falling out if you like tip it, etc. Uh, that way you don't end up uh, damaging the mine. Got a pretty good little system there. Simple but effective, like all the best things are. Gold crackle. Oh, you know. 
again with the 65 mils, yellow stars and blue scatter. This one's orange stars and blue scatter. Again, 65 mil. I think that's it for the 65 mils. So we'll go to the 75 mil mines. This one's blue stars and silver scatter. So, comparison, they're all the same height, I think, these mines. Krakatoa is just slightly taller. But these ones are both the Krakatoa 75mm, just like this one. This one seems like slightly bigger, but the, the tubings are, I think, slightly thicker. It's just a bit thicker and taller, but internal diameter is still the same. Got this white one, glitter stars and green scatter. This turquoise one, violet stars and green flash. So I wonder what that is. That might be like a strobe effect, a green strobe. Very unusual if it is a green strobe. See them, see them now with the vivid 56 shot candles. You can get the green strobe ones. I haven't had that one. Um, I might get one actually today or tomorrow if I manage to go and see Glenn from uh, Let's Party Fireworks. Moving on with this yellow one. This is Citron Stars and Red Scatter. That's quite a nice effect. Citron. Again, 75mm mine. This one is red stars and silver flash. These are so well made, they're lovely little pieces, these. Very, very fortunate to have them. Now these are the last three, these are the 85mm mines. Let's see what effects these have got, these bad boys. This is blue stars and orange popping stars. So I wonder what these popping stars are, because some of the, well, a couple of these mines that have got crackle in, they say uh, they actually detail crackles. I wonder what popping stars. If it's like some little, little reports, maybe. There again, from this purple one, green stars and violet popping stars. They're big mines that are these 85 now. And the last one, Silver Stars and Red Scatters. And there's a little nice surprise, which uh, I've only just, this is the first time I've opened this box actually, just to do this video, because it's been sealed. And uh, it's got a massive pack of port fires, which is nice. Um, yeah, I've, I've had quite a few different port fires from Kimbolt, and I haven't had these yellow ones. So that's nice stuff, like a different port fire. One, two, three, four, five. So you get ten in here for your twelve mines. It's not bad. Oh, let's uh, line them all up, I guess, so we can see. It's a bit better. See them in my son's bedroom. It's not mine. <laughs> I don't sleep with all these toys. I sleep with the missus. So there you have it. There they all are. Absolutely gorgeous. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, next one I'll do with the Kimbolton theme. What shall I do? Either the celebration pack might do that one. Or the... Uh, selection boxes so i've got the bronze silver gold i'm talking about all british standard ones not the modern ones i've got the bronze silver gold i've got the ruby platinum 
I've got Sapphire books, I've got the Emerald books. I've got pretty much everything apart from the Solitaire. So we'll see which ones have been posted up online. I may as well not do. I know that the gold, silver and platinum are probably all online. We'll see if, if, the, if any of the others haven't been posted yet and I'll do those. Um, yeah, so that's it. I might actually fire up a Sapphire as well uh, for you guys because I've got two of them. So just see like how they compare to modern day selection boxes. Let me know if you're interested and I might get that done for you. Cheers.